Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Screencast-O-Matic, which is an easy way to record video presentations uh, online. So you want to go to screencastomatic.com first, and you can go ahead and say start recording for free. If you haven't been here before, you might have to install it, but you also want to have your slides up that you want to record with. And you also want to make sure you have access to a webcam if you want yourself in the presentation. So once you're there, you'll hit launch free recorder. and it'll launch, you may have to open a few prompts and allow it to run, and once that happens, it'll take a few seconds to load, and once you're there, you should see some dotted lines around your screen. Now what you wanna do is make sure that your size is the way that you want it, so generally I like to do full screen, especially if I'm doing a presentation, and I wanna click both so I can see myself as the webcam in this video, and you can move this around too so it's not on top of your slides. So I'll go back to my slides, uh, I wanna make sure I have these ready to go. Um, when I'm ready to record, I'll hit record, but I might wanna test out my microphone first just to make sure that my built-in microphone on my computer is ready to record, or if you have a USB microphone, you can set that up as well. So I'll hit record and it'll give me about a three second warning and then I can click present and I should be able to start working with my slides and it should be recording everything that I do and say in this part. And it should be recording everything that I have on my screen as well as my webcam as I walk through the slides. So you might want to practice with this a few times before you do a run through. And once you're done, you will make sure that you hit the little pause button when you are finished with your screen recording. And this will stop your recording. If you want to go back and change it, you can. But if you want to save it, you can save it and change it for next time. The editing feature is only available if you have the premium account, but you can always save the video and edit it elsewhere if you need to do some editing. So once you want to save your video, you'll hit Save Video File if, it's, if you're happy with it. And then from there, you can name the file and then make sure it saves to the folder that you want. You can also upload directly to YouTube if you want to link your account with this. You don't have to, though. Um, you just need to get that video file saved and it should be ready to publish very quickly. Now this software has a maximum of 15 minutes for recording time, but that should be plenty for the presentations that I'm asking you to do for class. Once you hit done, just make sure that your video is located in the right spot, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial.